Oh, hello, friends. How's it all going? This is your friend Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail American Campaign. This is where we last left off. As you can see, I have a 7th rate brig. We only got these little four pounders on. So we can have a structure repair kit along with 170 crew. That's the Vengeance. And Vieira, we have a 7th rate brig. Again, the structure repair kit along with just the four pounder so we can do this. And again, 170 crew. We only have one perk. Garlic is also a 7th rate brig. She's got the Armstrongs. Um, I tend to, when I look at all these guns, you know, I look at various things, and I'm sure other people do too. I could go with a Bloomfield, but you know what I mean? Like I said, I, I generally, I either like a Woolworth with Woolwitch and... Um, these, I like these, but I got no rep to buy any more guns, so that's why I'm going on just the, the default gun on this ship. And, and Fenwick's just a cutter, and she can have a structure repair kit, 25 pounds, and the default gun, and she can still have a full crew. And then Rusty, we just, you know, made this uh, transport because we could, because we got the two transports in the last battle. I sold the Earlston and, you know, was able to have some money to do stuff. So, I mean, that's why I did that. And, and I knew that I would get two transports, which I brought in one. And we had these guys in the reserves pool, and I made this one unit just to retain um, this one perk. And that's what I had done. As far as tech goes, you can see I only bought two techs so far. I tend to buy the tech of when I actually need it, as opposed to just randomly buying tech. Um, and besides, you can see that it's going to cost money and rep. And again, I don't have rep. And then when I get over to here, um, you can see my Admiral and where I put stuff. I took the 15% repairs because, like I said, I had to spend a lot of money on repairs. Um, I started the campaign with the five, this, and this I eventually put one in here because I wanted to start building the rep in the American campaign because we need rep to buy weapons and stuff so anyways and that's all that I've done as you can see not much we're on a normal campaign both land and sea with adaptation as you can see right here I put my name in here and I took his picture, so no big deal. All right, so the next battle, and then we'll have two side missions, is Mule for Patriots. Now, because I do play Adaptation, I do want a uh, War Hero. You know, it's only, it's, like, I don't know how hard they'll make it, but it's only 700 money extra and one reputation. So we'll do it. And, and the thing that I can say is by playing normal, you know, we get two choices here. Distraction, we're going to lose 600 money from 
our base mine. Well, f first let me go back to, to um, follow orders. You can see right here funding and then over here you can see if I just follow orders meaning I just go with normal difficulty this is what I'm gonna get now if for any reason I thought the battle was too hard for me I could go to distraction notice how it took money away and it took stuff away from here so now we're gonna get less of a reward but we don't know how that battle is technically so we might as well get war hero and as you can see it bumped up to 4007 and you know what it's still this still remains um but anyways so let's go ahead and jump in Okay, here we are. Meal for Patriots. Red zone. You know how red zones work. Alright, we can only put one ship here that we need to have, and then we can put two others. So, why would I put the small ship in when I can put these guys in? Alright, we got 485. All right, I always like to skip and pause because that way I'm not going to, you know, have things going on while I'm reading all that. So, yeah, we have, basically we have this ship right here. And we got to save this ship. We have to, sa that's the only objective. So no matter whatever else we do in the battle, you got to make sure that this this one doesn't blow up, sink, or anything of that nature. You can see that we have the wind northeast, and I can go ahead and just start. But anyways, I mean, I got three brigs, so I'm thinking, you know, I I should do pretty good. So I'm going to direct all my ships to get moving. I always like my ships to make sure that they're on full sail. Because when I give them an order to move, I want them to be moving uh, quickly. And the lead ship always is not... the When they're, when they're hooked in a line, they don't... Uh, you know, they this one will always be like three quarters of a sail as opposed to full sail and then I always double check these guys just for the heck of it now let's get a perspective oh there they are and what do we have we have possibly a cutter and a couple maybe either brigs or six rate ships I'm not 100% certain. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm remembering what tactically the enemy usually does. They love to come around and then come in this way. So what I'm trying to do at the very moment is I have these ships. Okay, so now this one needs to be turning because we want to be able to broadside. Now, now of course, I'm going to have to leave this one over here too because it looks like he might be turning a little bit. And I'm not 100% certain, but what I think is, it depends. They could end up coming this way around me. But just in case, Vieira's going to come over here and try to protect this flank. And, all right, well, this ship is already, so hold on, hold on. Uh, 
Now, I might even take garlic. Because they, I don't know if they're, if they're going to actually try to get the Minerva, but... You know, you know I think I'm going to... I'm gonna I think I think I'm gonna commit my ships. Cause we can always consolidate our ships if there's more ships that will come later. Usually during red zones there usually is. There's usually some pressure that comes from reinforcements. But, like I said, I do, like, Gallic should be the one that takes out the cruiser. And I'll need the other two ships to take these guys out. Now, I, 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 I might make a tactical error. Okay, now, oh, pause. Anchor. 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 Yep, I... I made a slight tactical error. I, I realized that I should have blocked this one, right? With this ship, but I was afraid I was going to lose the nose. Okay, now. Now Vier, I gotta, I gotta slip around this way, and then cut this way. Alright, Vengeance gonna have to get into it because we missed our opportunity. This sometimes this always happens. So now I gotta try to do this one here. Go to canister. And as you can see he's slipping away. So yeah, that this whole plan is going south. Uh, we're going to try with the Vengeance this time to get him. Notice he's got two perks, too. All right, let's cut in. Let's cut in. Artillery shock? No. Now uh, he's going like okay his last orders were to get the cutter but we're going to try this and Yep now what Alright, so we got this one going. Vieira is taking some beating with this ship right here. And this one gave up, so let's go ahead and it's sinking. Grab that ship just for the heck of it. We'll take the rep. Okay, so finally we're boarding. Ah, uh, look at the beating Vieira took. I mean, seriously. Well, she's only one star. He's two stars. And here... Now, 
Now we we transferred the crew to this one, so we did get that one. Now Garlic better get over here because we are taking we took yeah, well, let's get this repair kit going. Now I'm gonna get this one moving. Oh, it's a win. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Darn it. All right. Well, okay. So, yeah. What can I say, folks? Darn. This is too easy of a battle. Jeez. I mean, okay, because look, I needed time to repair my ships, and I didn't do, you know, like, it might be better... Oh, let me think about this for a minute. Ah, uh, well, I got the victory, right? I mean... You know, and I did win... I did lose 186 guys, right? I mean, they lost their whole fleet, um, but I didn't get to... That ship gave up. I didn't get to transfer a crew there, so I'll lose, like, maybe 30 prisoners or so. Or I could have, okay, I, I mean, it's hard to look at, you know, I'm trying to look at this in a, a logical sense, right? Like, normally when I play this game, I get the victory and I move on. You know, like, you you can see all, you can go, you can click on my name on YouTube, you can get to my name, then you can go to my playlist, and then you can see all the all the campaigns. Or all the playlists that I have, but mainly the campaigns of this game. And if you watch any of those, you're going to know that I give out a lot of information over the course of a, you know, a year and a half. Somebody gave me that compliment. So yeah, I, I give tips and I give things of what I know about this game. So I've been playing it since the back of build version. And I know the whole history of the game, but I mean, I'm not an expert of the game. I'm just somebody who's played it and I can talk about it, but... Um, but now that it's released and people like to see different aspects of the game because they're not aware of everything, you know, I've been asked to like talk about more things instead of just playing the battle and just getting done, do the harbor and just be done, you know, and move on. Um, and so, so I'm debating with my own self right here as I speak to the, to you on this issue that um, I guess. You know, and matter of fact, I didn't even, I didn't even save. You know, I didn't even save. All right, well, let, all right, let, let me, let me, let me do this for a minute. And let, let, let's just see for the heck of it, right? I mean, okay, so we got this, right? We'll just look at this for a minute. We'll see again. I lost 186. But I did get all three of their ships it doesn't say any missing so I, I wish the game could already know how many prisoners did i get like the ships never go to zero they always have somebody on that gives up when we take the ship over so i'll end up but anyways let's go to golds you can t see that it's just save save this ship well this was relatively easy because of the way i built my fleet like i, I think this was was relatively easy. Now, okay, so Catherine is a 26-gun ship. Sure, what is it? So, yeah, so these must be six raids. Because I, I think Briggs is seventh raids, right? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, like I said, I'm not, I'm not an expert on all the ships, but, uh, but I, but I know, but I can see here, you know, simple that it's a 26-gun ship. And I usually don't like these ships anyway because I can't put a lot of guys on them and also have a a uh, ship upgrade on them. But anyways, um, oh man, and and oh that hurts, that hurts. We lost a commander. I okay, so I lost a commander. So okay, and we have. Um, some guns. Two 26 gun ships and one 12 gun cruiser. This is probably a. If it's got one mass, it's a cutter. If it's got two, it's a sloop. 
So yeah, all right, all right. So here's what I'm gonna do because I can't do anything else. I mean, I already they already gave me a victory. So I mean, let's go to here for just a minute. Yeah, so let's say I was, you know, I, that I accept that, right? Um, I know, I know before, uh, I know I'm going to have to repair, okay? And l let's just look at this for a minute. Oh, and look, they, they, they did give me an, an award. Now, I don't know why they would give me an award, but they did. I didn't, it seems like I didn't really do much in this. This was a quick and easy battle. I mean, badge of military merit. So I got that. That would be my my first one. Um, okay, and we only have one career point. Now, even though, um, you know, I'd have to repair. So 19 for there. Now, Vieira, uh, you can see that she... She took a pounding from one of these shifts. Let, let's take a look at... Yeah, see, they have the, the, the boar god. So I'm sure that this gun up close can really punt, do a punch. And although my strategy is um, to... Well, let's go ahead and do this... I'm not gonna I'm gonna redo the battle, but I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and okay, so nineteen. Again, Vieira took the beating. Four hundred and fifty one. Ah, uh, and I lost so the we lost the officer that was on Vieira, so I, I I'm gonna bet because we took a beating from from that ship which i'll end up getting one of these ships anyway but let, let's see we got seven rep we don't have much but so yeah we lost an officer now as far as officers go you can see that we have three categories here we have dexterity intelligence and willpower. Now you can look at each one of these and you can see it's showing that this sub lieutenant has 40, 25, 34, we have 63, 14, and 19. So it's really you know what I mean? It's it's a way of looking at this. Because even if you look at these numbers here, you can see 34 and 21. So, so I'm going to say overall, when you look at overall, even though we have a high number here for intelligence, and I can look over here and see that we already have intelligence. The highest one we got is gunnery. No, uh, stanima. And gunnery. So, yeah, just for argument sense um, and ease, ease I'm going to just say that overall, if you look at all the numbers of all the categories, strength, perception and endurance you can see that this guy to me is better than all of these guys so he's gonna go right there cost me 451 bucks I say sure why not and then um, and she needs some repair to 297 so over, overall, I probably spent um, probably around 12. I mean, I, I didn't really pay attention to what I had, but I, I might have spent about, considering I had to buy the officer, um, 
you know, I probably spent around 1200 bucks. And what I would do here, if I was carrying this, and I, and I may, I'm going to save it in a moment, but I mean, I know I would... So we're gonna we're gonna look at this like as if this that I'm gonna accept all this in this battle that I had just done, which I think I'm gonna do the battle again. I I think I mean just to show it because I because I, I want to have a save in it anyways. I mean I know we can uh, I can just talk about it. Well yeah first of all we can look and see so we got four thousand because we 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 played as a hero or whatever and we got seven of that and that. that's what we got. We have two side missions here, and you can see here, if I save, I can say, um, I'll, I'll say redo maybe, okay, so I, I may redo it, but, and, and I, and I probably will, but. I just want to see if I can do it in a way that I could also repair. But see, like, okay, so again, I, I, I wanted to show you that we can, we can go right here and, and start this again. And this, was, this will put us, I think, at the deploy screen. This is where I was when I started today and record. And I talked a little bit about my fleet and then I went into this battle. So it made this save at the start. I, and then it makes the victory save or the defeat, you know, or the draw. If that's what you got, it'll make that save. And I think you can go into the options and, and say not to do that too, but I, I like these. I like it because, but anyways, um, I know I, I saved right there and stuff. So let me just um, get back to this here, um, the fleet. And because at this point uh, in the campaign, which is very early, I would have one point for that battle and right here we can get you have to increase oh no hold on okay so hey guess what guess what I just discovered okay wait a minute no, it says, okay, wait, oh, no, okay, oh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Present is 5%, I have nothing in here. Okay, I was just going to say, because I was just going to tell you that they changed this, but they didn't, okay. Because I know when you put your first point, and you can get this point when you create your your character, you can, you can instead of saying anything over here, you can pick this and get the 10%. So, yeah, so you already have 5%, so... By doing that and putting one in here, like when you created your character, you could have done that. You would have 10. The reason I don't do that is because there are no side missions until we get to this point right here, which I know I'm going to get a point from that battle. So I can put it, you know, right there. And so as you can see here, because see, yeah, I was a little confused when I first looked at that because I thought it was saying if I put one point in there, I'm only going to get 5%. But I always, I've always known that if you put one point into this, you'll always get the 10% success. But what I wasn't aware of until right now, they already give you 5% luck. And so even myself... Even myself, of playing this game uh, a, uh, for a year and a half, that is something I didn't realize until just now. Because what confused me was I have always known, and I think I've, it's, it's because I used to always just do things 
that I don't pay attention to it because I just do it? Because I've always known you get 10% when you put one point here. But, but while you're in the campaign, it appears that you're already getting 5% luck. And the, and the whole point of why I'm talking about that is because we have two side missions to, to do. We wouldn't want to just go to next stage. We would want to do these to get the money and get whatever we can get from them. I think first contact, I think we just get information, but this one will give us something. So anyways, okay, so let's go ahead and think about if I was going to carry on at this point. But I think I'm going to try the battle one more and see which way I do better. Okay, so I think so you're going to get two, two battles for one video um, anyways. Now, between uh, these two ships, and, and look at, as you can see, Either the Catherine, and I don't have enough yet. So I, I, I but, but if you if you look at the way that I went with this, this right, the the question would be, if I let the cruiser survive the battle for a while, and I take all three of my ships and go after these two and get them but leave this one alive this one will probably end up going after the Minerva ship right the Minerva has a hundred on it and and I, and I think she has guns so she can hold her own against the ship and even if he were, this one here, was able to capture that ship, we still got our three ships. The battle would say you can end, but who would want to end at that point when you still have your, you, you can come back and get the Minerva. You know what I mean? So, and think about it this way, I lost an officer. So I'm just going to show... If I accepted that like I normally would, like I would just do the battle, get the battle done, do the harbor stuff, get ready for the next battle, and then end the video. That's what I would normally do in all my campaigns until people are now with the release version and some people want me to talk about s different things. So um, anyways, so that's why I may do it. But I'm, I'm looking at this point here. If the crew, let's look at this as if Let's say the cruiser blows up or we lose it. Can I get rid of one of these ships in order to gain one of these ships into my fleet? Like, I, there's no way for me to get both because, as you can see, they're going to take 10 rep. Right? And the cruiser is only going to give me 3 rep, which will be 10. So like right now I can tell you that she she's going to give us 3 3 rep so you can see now that we have 10 so right now and then these guys are going to give me 5 so if I have 7 after at the end of the battle if I have 7 again and let's say I only had these two ships. Now the, the cruiser gave me three, which was enough to get to ten to get one of these. But let's say the cruiser ends up sinking eventually. And I would have these two ships. I could I can get one of them and I can so so either way what I'm saying is I only have enough to get one of them no matter how you do that battle it's better to get the three ships because then I'm gonna have a little extra rep but right here let's look at right over here Plankin is 794 
And Plankin is so... What? What? How can that be? 794, right? Catherine. And Sherwood. How, how could both of these ships... <laughs> now that has to be a coincidence, right? How can both of these ships... Have the same amount. Okay, okay, wait a minute though. Catherine has 409 right here. Like, it, like this is really nitpicking, I guess. Right? Okay, look at here. 410, 410, 340, 340, 794. So Catherine has one point missing here and then that right and Sherwood is good on both counts so then I would add just to save like maybe a few bucks I would add the Sherwood now I like Catherine name better than Sherwood but I mean we're gonna name that differently anyways and so look I have 17 on repair and now you can see I have no rep, which is not a not a good thing because it means I'm not able to buy guns. I'm not able to do anything in the American campaign because of the rep problem. So we will happily get, give that to the Admiralty and we will get five. Now, it's not much to do, but it is what it is. Okay. So now we have the Sherwood. And in this particular case, making off that we were just going to do the campaign as is, right? I know the Vengeance has two perks. I know I have this amount of money. And so what I'm going to do is say the reserves and we don't have the guns okay and, and we don't have the guns now I could buy some tech to give us a bunch of British type of guns and that might solve the problem but that's going to take away my rep and my money and so the only way to do this is to buy this junky gun and all oh, and it's and it's gonna cost me that amount of money. Alright, well I, I'm not gonna be able to I don't know if I can do that. Alright, let's cancel that for just a moment. Let's cancel that for just a moment. Let me see how I want to do this. Now we do have 124 here. Ah, but this is the one that can only have 145. All right, so look, I'm, I'm going to look at this as um, trying to figure out how to do this in a way that I spend the least amount of money. So if I, if I buy recruits and give up some rep, I can, okay, if I give up a little bit of rep, now, it's 145. Now, what really bites is we have 136 of these if we... Hey, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've got this guy here. Oh, but he's 90. He's 90. Ah, oh, and that's 87. That's 67. All right, wait a minute. 
What about him? Yeah, so even if I buy a couple, but no. Okay, so look. What I'm <laughs> okay, so what, I, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to manipulate this in such a way but uh, I'm having uh, a little bit of difficulty because of the simple fact that I don't have enough of what I want to do what I want to do. Like, you can see he's got this gun here. So to get the 20 that he has, which would give us... Oh, and it would give us 80... It would give us 87. And I need, I think, three more. So, yeah, so that wouldn't work. So even if I try to get this gun out of here, and he's got a hundred and... We have 136 of these. So if I get... If I... If I... Yeah, either way, I'm going to have to buy weapons, which I'm going to use rep. Because if I buy that, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me decide something here then. Like, I don't know if... If we, you know what, hold on, right? I saved anyways, so we can, we know what I just did. So if we go over here and find, okay, so we get Spanish weapons, British. But it's going to, yeah, but see, the problem is it's going to take four rep. All right, well, let's, let's just do this for a second, right? Let's see what this does. Okay, just for that purpose. Okay, so by, by picking that, right, it put a bunch of stuff here in the shop to buy. But it didn't put anything here that would give us anything so it didn't all right so we'll just load that again all right Okay, we know what we did. We took this ship and we sent it to Admiralty. We know that Sherwood is the better one. It only, it's only going to cost us uh, 19 or $17. Yeah. And we know the Catherine. We have no choice but to do that. And the reason I wouldn't keep Catherine anyways is because we don't want to spend money for trophies when we can't utilize the ship off, right off the bat. Okay, so now I'm back at square one and I want to put a crew on here. Now what I could do is Fenwick is only one perk. Garlic is two perks. And we we already know that we can give up some rep. So 
So we're back to the same problem. Well, you know what? Hold on. I would just need to go to 136 anyway for now, right? As a matter of fact, we, we can keep the we could keep that. So that's only gonna cost me that. We have these guns. So those are good stats, I guess, is what I'm thinking about. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to... Normally, I like to take the crew, but you can see I have very limited amount of everything. So the problem that I'm running into is I, I don't have Fenwick with, with two, two. Like, I can take the 80 off her... And bump her up to this and sell this ship. Or. I think what I can do. Is I can take Rusty. Like we do have the two perks here. So that that's good. I can just leave that. But on Rusty I could. I could eliminate this unit right here. Right? Because he does have... I mean, he doesn't have the best stats, but... But I could do that. I could say dismiss him. And we did buy the officer, but that's okay. He'll be in our reserve. So I can dismiss him, I guess, is the way of me... Another way of me doing this. And I can actually take this officer off the ship. And I can put him over here. And I can buy this officer right here. And now we do have 134 of these guns. And we have 90 here. So if I go to 90, and I give him his first put. And, and like I said, I know I had a discussion uh, on about with Ray Rivers Gaming. And, you know, Ray Rivers likes the Stanima. And he likes it because I guess he likes the... He likes it... Like, I can't speak for him, but if you read my, the comments, you'll, you'll see our discussion. But I'm just... I'm just dead fast on... I like morale for my ships because... I don't want them to 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 give up, you know. And and I can tell you, an ultimate admiral, uh, not ultimate admiral, ultimate general. I've always done Stanima too, so I I I, I know the argument about Stanima. But in land battles, I know I can gain Stanima with my units by just running them around. I think it's limited in some way by the dev. Because I've, I've tested it in Bunker Hill, and um, there's a point where you can't get any more Stanima, and I'm like, okay, so the dev made it so that we can't just stay in the battle. Because as long as you keep those, those two ships that you can't get, you can't destroy in Bunker Hill, you can uh, keep that battle going for, for a week if you wanted. <laughs> but I mean, just to run your guys up and get them to 100% status, but, but you can't do that because a dev, I strongly believe, until somebody proves it me otherwise, I think a dev made it so that way you can only get a limited amount of stanima because I've already tested that. So anyways, I like, I like morale. So that's what I do. Okay, so we got that, right? I mean, this ship, with default of this, 
Armstrongs and the default of the Bogards, you can see um, the sure word uh, really hurt, uh, I think it was garlic, and um, up close. And you can look at the way I play and you can say, well, Jeff, you, you seem to go after the ships to capture them real quick. And so when you're closing in on them, wouldn't this gun be good for you to, you know, because, I mean, the pen, look at this, right, 2250, because my, my train of thought is, yeah, in order to get this gun effect, effectively, you got to get anywhere from 200 to zero, uh, and I don't know if this is in feet or yard, meters or, or whatever, yards, whatever. It's Amer if it's America, it's yeah, yeah, it's yards, okay. So you got to get within 250 to zero yards for this, for this gun to be, be effective. And as you can see with uh, this gun here, I'm pretty, like, at... at this one can go out to 1,300 yards. It's only a four-pounder. It only has three damage. Now, I understand all that. But I still like it because if I'm in a position to shoot at an enemy ship coming at me, I can be shooting at him long distance. And, and until he gets up close to me, I can be doing something to him is the way I look at it. Um, and that's why I like, I've always liked this gun, I, you know, um, to start out with, is what I'm saying. Um, and, and notice how I have it right here. But I have to have the four, I can't have the six pounder unless I want this crew to only be 145. And, and this crew can be 70, but, okay, so I'm, I'm just talking about a lot of things in this. And so, you know, I'm still... Let's get back to over here. Um, so, as you can see, I took the officer off Rusty, and I took the infantry off, and I put them here because this is a warship. And we're at 200, and it can go up to 360. And this is, oh, and this is a seventh rate snow, so let's let's get that out of the way it's not a six rate it's a seventh rate snow so what what i'm just thinking is it, it even uh i might because of money issues i might sell this ship here and i might put the personnel on this ship onto this ship because she's got one perk too. So so let's say I do that. Now you can see some of the... You can see some of the... the okay now wait a minute right? At what point here are we going to be... We're going to have to buy some weapons anyway. But we do have 170 of these. So let's let's go to this. So we won't spend any rep. It looks like some perks... It looks like some perks are going down and some are going up. Oh, now this ship would go to 180 if we don't have any upgrade here. So that is interesting with these guns. I mean, that is interesting. So I could max that crew out, but I can't do it right now. So we can, but we know we can go to 170. 
and it used okay so let's go ahead and do that we we gave up a little bit of, with a little bit and we gave and we gained some in some areas which i i think i'm okay with that so i mean we're gonna go ahead and do that so now we emptied our pool out we got 170 on here we don't have a a, a ship upgrade And, th and then this way, I can go ahead and name this one. Again, we'll call it Fenwick. Uh, Fenwick. I'm not sure. Fenwick. Fenwick. I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly, but anyways. Like, I can, I can think in the terms of Fenway in Boston. Fenway Park used to be where Red Sox were playing Fenway Park. So, I mean, it was something like that. I mean, I ain't been there for like 40 years or so. So, I mean, I, can, I don't remember. So, maybe Fen, Fenwick. Maybe. It, it's pronounced that way. I'm not, I'm not sure. Don't forget, um, I'm from the East Coast. So, therefore... You know, we talk a certain way and we pronounce a certain way, so it may not be correct. Like if you live in California or if you live in England, it may not be correct the way I may say the name. But anyways, now we're going to go to this ship here. We can go ahead and take the officer off. We can take the guns off. And we're going to lose money on this, but we're going to take uh, that off. And But at least the, the game does give us some money for the upgrade if we take it off. You know what I mean? That, that's really good. I mean, it doesn't give us the whole refund, but it gives us a little bit. So, I mean, that's that's really nice. And then this ship, like I said, I could keep this ship and make it a fire ship. It'd be a cheap way of, of making a fire ship. Or I could sell it. Like, I think it's going to, they're going to give us, like, what do they give us for this? Um, let me, let me go ahead and name this a USS, um, uh, let's say, call it sales one. <laughs> okay. So it's just for the heck of it. All right. So let, let's say, Yeah, so it does give us this amount. Yeah, and you can see that I, I sold them this ship right here. And I, and I sold them this ship right here. So it technically... Let, let's say that I'm not going to make a fire ship. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that. And now we have... This, this way... This way of doing this, you can see that we ended up... Upgrading um, the cutter that Fenwick was... And now she has a seventh rate snow with default guns, as we can see right here. And, and Rusty, like I said, is a transport ship. We're not going to use Rusty right now. I mean, technically I still could if I put guys back on, like I could put him here. We lost a little bit of stats because I put the better officer onto this ship here. But this ship is a warship and I'd rather have a better officer on the warship, to be honest. And so now we don't have any guns here. You know we're going to have to buy guns here. And same, same here. And we only have five rep to do all of this. And so could I... Well, I can go to I can go to optimal. 
And we still have 56. So let's go ahead and do that. But we don't have any there. We don't have any there. And she's already good. I could even, let, let me see if I could give her a structure repair kit. So even with 170, she can have a structure repair kit. All right, let's look at the uh, the guns. Okay, so we have 134 of these, right? Ah, but we have 136 here, right? And we have 50. Okay, so look. Suppose I give this ship 136 of these. Hey, now wait a minute. Why is it costing me a rep? Hold on. Okay, 134 it looks like. Okay. All right, so let's just say, because um, optimal is here, so if I just stay with 134, I now have 166 of these. So I think Vieira can go to 170. So I can go to 166, right? And now garlic has enough Oh, but she can only go to 145. That's right, because I got these. Hey, you know, do we have any? Well, we got the six. So if I were to give her the six, I mean, I'd, I'd, oh, but that would take. Ah, but that would take five rep. That would take all my rep. Check it out. Okay. So we have 18 of these. 18 of those. And now we have these here. I could sell those right now and get money. Or, you know, you can hang on to them until... Until you get this to... 25% on each, but... If you need money... And if you need it now, you know what I mean? 
it's a point to do that. Oh yeah, and don't forget here I didn't, I gotta put the point back here. Cause this is what I would normally do. Like I would put the, I would get the 10%. So when I do the side missions and I think I'm ready for the side missions. Cause we don't have much money. We have no rep. And you can see right here. And I, and I, I can throw, I can throw Rusty in. Like he's got 20. He doesn't have any guns, but I don't know if I, if I can throw him in, he could get some experience maybe. Uh, you know what I mean? It would have been better had he had the um, infantry unit here. But, you know, I, I basically would rather have a ship up and running. I mean, we still have 87 of these. But I don't have any, I don't want to, I don't want to take anybody else off because I don't have the money anyway. So yeah, no, I don't have the money. All right, so here's what we're going to do, right? You can see what I did basically to, to get these guys at least up to optimal. But I ended up using all the five reps, so that kind of sucks. And, you know, and I ended, used a lot of bit of that money. I sold the cutter. I did various things like that to manipulate this. And technically, I could sell those Armstrongs to get a little bit more money. But I think what I, what I will do... Okay, so now I saved it under the redo, right? And and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these. All right, so we got... 89%, don't forget that's with 10% luck, so we would have had, uh, whatever, because um, like I said, uh, uh, like what I just learned was the game gives us the 5% luck anyway, <laughs> so we already had it, because when I, I hovered over this, when I hovered over this, it showed that we had 5%, <laughs> even though we didn't have nothing in here, because I know when you put the point in here, you get 10, so I mean, whatever, <laughs> that, that's just kind of funny, so let's get back to here. All right, folks, we're going to go ahead and put the Vengeance in. And I guess I could put... Why don't we put Fenwick in there? And that'll do, bump us up to 90. And we'll, we'll start that one. And first contact, I think this is just information purposes. So, Vieira... We'll put Rusty in just for the heck of it. Maybe Rusty, maybe Rusty just sailing will get a little bit of experience. So anywhere we can gain experience, we want to do that anyway, right? So let's go ahead and put that in motion and we have to go next uh, stage. All right, so we go to next stage. That's going to refresh all the guns in the shops. It puts a whole bunch of stuff right here. And all we got out of that is six reputation. And we, we got some money, but we're at a deficit. We lose 3,000. That's our maintenance. And first contact. Hey, now, the good thing is they gave us 400 uh, Sea Service 38 right muskets. It's not the best, but it's better than nothing. Especially when you have to spend rep in the American campaign. You got 400 of these. So that is good. 
for doing. So first contact gave us 4,006 rep, 400 sea service muskets, light damage, none, none. So we got Vieira, Garlic, Rusty. Hey, and even, even Rusty didn't lose anybody and he didn't have any damage. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and we got Kent. Uh, Kent uh, was sunk. So yeah, so it was only a, a twelve gun ship. So, anyways, okay. So that, that that this was this was pretty good, and this is why I would strongly suggest that you do side missions. I mean, you, you there's no denying that you're gonna gain something from doing side missions. You know what I mean? There's just no denying that you you will you will gain benefits from that. Okay, and then Naval Patrol. Yeah, see, I think they changed it. So now Naval Patrols, as you can see, they're only going to give us some money. They're not going to give us any rep. Um, so, so that sucks. Hey, look. <laughs> they got my name right here. Jeffrey S. <laughs> like, I don't have an S in my name, but I mean, Jeffrey's. <laughs> Yeah, they have a ship right here. That's funny. Uh, heavy damage, so they didn't stink it. They didn't sink it, but vengeance and uh, Fenwick light damage. All right, and we have thirteen hundred out of the effects. Okay, so now the weekly, the Continental Journal reports this. You can read that if you want. The result is, that's why we have 21,000, because they gave us this amount of money. They gave us 500 of these. So that is a benefit of the American campaign where they gave us that. That's when the game gives us stuff. On December 13th, 1775, you can read all this. Three months, five ships, and 32 guns, five guns, but whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And again, this tells about history and stuff. You can read that if you would like. Take her back. Again, you just need one ship to three. Ah, we got the storm on the Chelsea River. You can have one 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 um, merchant ship if you want with marines, and then you need and you can have two other ships, but you don't, you only you only have to put one here. Yeah, I think I like this one. I think they they give us some allies. They give us a, an artillery, and in this one, I think I like to put the artillery over here, and I like to, to kill that one ship that's over here. That's just for fun. I I, I like to do that. Um, so that's what I think I do in that one. Um, I think it's because they do give us an artillery. They don't give it to us, but I mean it's an ally unit. But anyways, and then I think that they have they have one unit that spawns over here that's artillery, and we'll try to get that one, so I can have two artillery to try to take out that ship that they got over here. I just do that's the kind of stuff I do for fun. So when I get to that, that's what I'll be doing. But again, as you can see, all of these battles, all of them, these side missions, if you just had one really good ship, that's all you need to start these. So, so they give you options if you only want to put in one ship, you know what I mean? If you only add one ship or two ships or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, but when I play this game, I always like to have the amount of ships that you can put in the battle. I, I want to at least have that. And then I want to have enough ships to do either all of these or most of these. Some of them will carry over and some, and there might be one or two that might not. So that's why you got to be pretty selective when you're doing these side missions 
But anyways, let's take a look at our fleet for a moment. And look at this. I lost an officer. I lost an officer from that side mission. Now, and on top of that, I have to pay some money here. So hold on. Yeah, and the only thing uh, that I would, I would like to complain about, and I, you know, it's just nitpicking on the game, and it's, and I've always said that is, my ships, my ships have repair kits. Uh, why can't they repair while they're in those side missions? You know what I mean? Why do they always come back hurt and I have to repair them? Like, but anyways, okay, so. And like I said, Rusty must have got a little bit of experience uh, being in that side mission. And, and Fenwick, so she lost an officer, I guess. And, but, yeah, she's going to go back. Hey, so. <laughs> oh, you know, wait a minute. I didn't put people in here to give her the second perk. Now, on the second perk, right? If you like hand-to-hand -hand combat, you can pick this. And so gunnery and boarding goes up by 10%. If you like, you know, broadsiding, if that's, a, that's what your Navy does, if you like broadsiding, 25% reload speed for the ship guns plus 25% accuracy. Now that that's pretty big. I mean think about it. 25% for accuracy. So, you know what I mean? Like if I have a certain like if I guess if I have a really good gun on the ship you know, we could try that one. But I like rotation speed and move speed. Because that went to 13.2. So, I mean, I, I just, I tend to like that. All right, and, and what I would do here, is look at, and, uh, now, how, how I would carry this on, and I, and I said I was going to redo that other battle. So this would be a long video, um, but, again, we only need one ship, but, you know, three, right? So if I if I look at okay, f I'm looking at these for a minute, right? And I'm 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 seeing that you know this is me right here, and this is this this guy right here. And then I'm looking at uh, Vieira. She only has one, one. And now we have 400 of these. So now we can go ahead and, and max them out. But I'm, I'm thinking I, I could either see Fenwick. I, I might go into the I might go into the battle with these three ships and not my capital ship. Even though I should be getting more experience for my, my own admiral. Because Fenwick did just gain gained this perk.
So suppose I... Well, suppose I take my guy off here. Okay, now this guy here, he's 41, 31, 56, 61, 43. So put him there. Alright, so then then so with vengeance what I can do here and put him him here. I can bump these guys down. And I can get uh, Fenwick to have 180. And I'll put those guns there. And and maybe I would um maybe I could just try these. Use this ship to get up close and then canister. Maybe with this. Maybe I could try that. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I'm going to have the Fenwick be the capital ship. And we have these guys here. Ah, uh, that way we have this clear. And maybe that's the way that I would go. We still got a lot of money. We're going to lose 3,000. We still have four rep. We don't have any more points here or nothing. And what I will do here is put a three. All right, now I saved that as option one, right? And, and that just means that I'm ready for that chapter in that stage. So now I can uh, load this. And you know, it's going to tell me everything will be lost, but I already saved right here. And as I said, I wanted to show you doing the battle again. And I wanted to put a save there, but um, anyways, okay. So again, you can see at any point in the campaign, you can load the start 
and you can get to this menu here. And as you can see, we're back and we got to do this again. War Hero. Okay. Okay, so again we're here and we're going to start. We're going to skip. We know that. I'm going to pause. So we already know basically what we're going to do, but Now, so, so we already know that this ship ha is, has guns. So she's just gonna, she's just gonna turn to here. So if the little ship, the cutter, comes over here and fights her, she's got a hundred. I mean, I don't even think, like I said, I don't think the cutter could do it. And then that would mean that these guys can go full sail Full sail. Okay, let's get going. All right. Like I said, we don't even care about the cutter at the moment. I want the cutter to stay alive so I can um, I'm going to even tell these guys to not shoot Okay, and now we're going to go to normal speed. And now we're going to get moving again. I just want all my ships to be together. All right, let's go. And they should all be on full sail. And actually... I'll put them all on canister. Like I said, he's only got 67. So so I think, I think we're going to see what he does. We could obviously sink him or capture him. We don't want to do that. Okay, so now these guys are going to put their guns on. They're going to repair. All right, now, hold on. Um, I think I want to go on real slow. Okay, so we got that one in a vice. I think if he does
Um, some of the best laid plans sometimes don't work, but we're trying. Okay, so now, like I said, because what I I don't I don't care what this ship does. It's it's in material. Now, as long as I can have this ship over like that, he can protect himself. And okay, so now we are boarding here. Now, now my hope is that I don't lose an officer. I mean, I, and I'm I'm shooting him with canister. Now I don't know if we we're gonna lose an officer here. No. Yeah, vengeance is not really doing much here. So I gotta get. Uh, Vieira to get over here. Ah, well, wounded is better than dead, but yeah, so we still got a wounded officer, but we didn't get a killed one, so, so far, so good. Garlic is repairing. All right. Okay, so he gave up. And my ship is shooting. Um, no shoot. <laughs> don't shoot. Don't shoot. We already got the ship. We already have the ship. We already have the ship. Alright, so now. So there, my plan was, like I said, uh, we'll have the Catherine head off that way. And the, the hope was to not lose an officer, right? So I, I got one wounded is the way it looks. Now, Catherine, again. Look, can't you just turn around? Sherwood, head off that way. Okay, so like I said, um, I'll let I'll let the Minerva uh, shoot at the ship if it can. I mean, I, like I said, 
the AI, you see how the AI is? They'll come over here. They'll sit here and they'll shoot at the ship unless the ship turns. And remember the change that the devs made in a land battle? Remember the changes? Oh, oh hold on. i got a problem here. Uh, two ships trying to go into each other. That's not good. Okay, so anyways, remember the change that the, uh, the devs made in a land battle? If these are your three infantry units, or two infantry units here, and they're facing this way, if an enemy comes over here and starts shooting at them, they will now pivot and shoot at them. Well, I guess I could make the same suggestion in a, land, in a sea battle. This ship was aiming this way. Now, what the AI always will do is they will go to a certain... If you're not watching, they will go to a certain point like here where we can't shoot him and they will start shooting again and just picking away at him and this ship will do nothing but just sit here and I don't think that should be the way it is now I've never made that suggestion to a dev but it's something that I'm thinking about right now due to the fact that the the Minerva is just you know was sitting here and he just gets out of the arc and he just keeps picking away at her. So, because notice, he's, he's not even damaged. And so now I have to play games with this ship. Well, a matter of fact, I can just tell this ship to go like this, right? And we'll see what happens. Because what I want to do is I want to send the sure word that way along with the Catherine so they'll be sailing and they can you know have a little experience and now this ship needs to be repairing and and vengeance needs to get over here and be repairing now they can go back to that And Viera can go over here for just a moment and repair, and she can go to that. Yeah, and and so what I'm what I'm hoping to accomplish by redoing this battle, although the Sherwood and the Catherine, you can see, have uh, some more damage. And and I still hope to 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 get this ship. Hey, now I'm gonna anchor this ship and let him shoot at her. Yeah. Now vengeance can come on this way if she can. As a matter of fact, I think uh, Vieira can head this way too. And, and, and Garlic can head that way too. We'll have the Vengeance come this way. Because we got 164. Because if he... Okay, so he's, he's going to play with, with the Minerva. And that is fine because... Unless, unless, unless this little cutter, right? a matter of fact, let me go ahead and save. Because I did want to make a save in here. So this is a uh, normal, uh, and then my save one. All right, so I'm going to make a save. Because I like to have at least one save in a battle, so that way... I can go into the battle and maybe redo stuff and do something better. So what I'm going to do here... Oh, so the, the border is right here. 
So I'm going to tell that ship to get there. And garlic too. And now Sherwood. Hey, look, here's the red zone. <laughs> that ship will, will sail to there. Uh oh, I hear some I hear some guns shooting. All right, and so as far as this ship goes, we gotta make sure that she's fully repaired and then this ship will be fully repaired. And this ship is, is repairing. All right, so we're playing a little, this the ship is playing a little game with us. Now, like I said, uh, I did save. So if for some reason he comes over here and he hits us and we blow up, we'd lose this battle. So obviously I'm hoping that that won't happen. But I'm, I'm trying to get, this This ship is as slow as molasses, so we're going to tell it to go over there. It's the only way it's going to end up turning. And this ship's going to go right here. Once it's fully repaired. Yeah, like I said, I'm I'm aiming, trying to see if we can hit it, but I just want to give him a little fighting chance. You know what I mean? To do a little something. The whole point of me doing this is to get is that I I I got a wounded officer, but I didn't get a a, a dead officer, so that is good. Oh, now. Armor hit, armor hit, and armor reflected hit. Oh yeah, look, he, he's taking some damage. All right, so we're just gonna like, and plus we're giving the Minerva some experience, I guess, is the way to look at it. But she must have some, you know, I don't know, I can't remember what guns she's got on. Because we don't get this ship here. This is just something uh, is, is, a, is, a, is an objective for us to do. Yeah, see, she's, she's totally bad, I mean. Like, even if he were to get this, sh capture this ship, and it would tell us we could finish and take a loss, but I got this ship here, I'll come over here and get it. So, I mean, I'm not really worried. The only, the only caveat to what I'm doing is the fact that if he gets a lucky hit and, and Minerva blows up, I mean, we take a loss. I mean, and then uh, ju I just have to load it and stuff. And look, she's still not fully repaired. 
So I gotta go ahead and tell her to repair. And these ships are just sailing. I can repair. They're not gonna sail out, they're just getting to an area where they could. And I can repair. And so they're sailing around there, they're getting a little bit of experience. But the whole point was for, oh, and look! Look! Look, look, by positioning him in a position of paying attention to this. Okay, now let's, let's just go to canister. Because look, just putting this ship in a position where he could shoot back. Look at what we've done to that. Look what this ship has done to that. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I was hoping to get my ships fully repaired. And you can see the vengeance. Um, we still have our two officers. We're, we're pretty close to being done. Yeah, and I think, uh, yeah, look. That's pretty close to being done. And we're lucky we didn't lose part of the, the nose. You know what I mean? Like, like you see, see I, when I banged into this ship, it lost part of its nose. So that's going to be a good four, $400 to repair or something. And even even the same to this one. So my ships did that to them, but they could have easily done that to my ships. And even if we had and even if we had a sail repair kit, it would not repair the mass or the nose. It will not. Sail sails only repair the sail. Structure only repairs the structure. There's nothing that will repair a mass. I mean, you can have some damage control that might, but once a mass is down, that's that. Once the nose is gone, that is that. And that is gonna be a cost in the harbor. Now see, even this ship that is in trouble Notice how he, he's, he's, he's going into a position where he can shoot us. Yeah, we don't really want, again, I got to repair one more time. Okay, so we don't, we don't really want this ship to sink. So I think we're going to tell this ship to move over here. Or, you know, I don't know if this... See, I don't know if we can maneuver right like I... As a matter of fact, we won't be able to take anything off the maneuver, so yeah, I gotta get my ship down over here. Let's go. Yeah, I was just thinking if he gives up, unless we're doing an actual boarding, we can't drop somebody out of the maneuver. So yeah, I'm gonna okay, so then then in that case, we're gonna have to head this way then. We, we got to trick this ship into, uh, like, I don't want him to, because he gives up, I think the battle will instantly end. 
So maybe I should tell this ship to stop shooting. Because I don't want to spend all day in this bat this this battle anyways. And if I'm yeah, I'm gonna tell this one to repair. Garlic repair. All right. Okay, so as I predicted, um, this one will follow this one, so... Yeah, of course the wind changed. So either way, in the camp, or the harbor, should I say, I'm thinking of Ultimate General, but... But what, yeah, what I was thinking is, um... I already showed you I don't really, this this only gives us three reps, so I don't really need it because I ain't going to be able to get the two ships anyway. So I'm only going to add one of those ships and I'll get five rep that will add to the seven rep that I'll get for this battle. And that will give me one of those ships and then give me some rep. But if we can get this ship, we'll gain three rep. And that might be enough to where I can buy some guns or something. You know what I mean? Like, if, if this guy sinks, like, we don't really, we don't really want that to happen. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to tell them and I'm going to tell this ship to stop. This ship to go go past him but not hit his nose. And then the vengeance I'll use to try to take this guy out. Cuz you can see the wind is northeast and going after him is very difficult. And the whole object of this now is to go ahead and make sure we capture this ship. You can see how if I maneuver this ship properly, we can just destroy this ship. So there was no real worry of him knocking this ship out unless you're not paying attention to it and he goes right here and just starts pounding away at this ship and then blows it up. Which that's what the AI will do. So now I'm going to tilt him this way. And notice he, ga he gained two stars, so... Okay, I'm going to put this one in motion. Now of course if he if he get if he plays hard to get what's going to happen is I might end up sinking him. 
but I would really like to capture him All right, well, we're going to have to do that. Let's see. Let's go to this. Okay, I'll pause. Uh, let's go real slow speed. Let's take somebody out of Vengeance. Let's anchor. Let's anchor, anchor. Anchor. Anchor, please. And and get the ship. Come on, get it. Get him. I, I, I'm doing really slow because normally if there's no more enemy, the game will end, the, the, the battle will end. I want to, yeah, see there was, there was uh, like 30 some odd guys on here, I think. So those will be prisoners and, and the battle should end. I don't know why it's not normally. Yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. All right, now. All right, I did it. I still found a way of getting the three ships, okay? And I found a way of making sure my ships were repaired before the battle ends. And hopefully, now I think we did hurt the other two ships a little bit more. So I might spend a little extra money there, but I think, and so I got 146 uh, still. I lost 146. I mean, they lost their whole fleet. All you have to do is make sure this ship gets into the red zone and the battle would instantly give you an option to end. But you can see that even, t even taking the, the hero difficulty, this is still an easy battle. Now, I don't know if... On hard, they might have another ship come into this, maybe. Um, I'm not 100% certain. But I thought by, in a, but with adaptation, they're going to try to match me. And with taking the added difficulty, they should uh, give us whatever it was in a hard into, into here. So I don't, so, and that's why, uh, you know, I, I, that's why I like to play the normal, because we can go up and down in difficulty, so... Anyways, I've already talked about that kind of stuff, so we'll just go ahead and get going here. Captured, captured, captured. Now look at this. None, none, and a little bit light. I don't know why, but... Okay, and, and, and uh, I didn't lose an officer. Now, if I remember correctly... Um, I don't know if somebody could answer this question, but what I remember from Ultimate General Civil War, it always sucked when an officer got um, wounded because they didn't earn squat from the battle. And uh, that was always something that I always complained about because you know depends on where the officer in the battle got hurt right i mean he should have got some xp 
And I, but I don't know if the devs had a harder time uh, making a mechanic that says, okay, so the battle started at this time, and the officer got wounded at this time. So from that time when it started to this time right now when he got wounded, he gained at least that much experience. But in Ultimate General Civil War, the game just... You know, like like I said, I know because I've tested this numerous times, and um, you know, if I have a junkie officer, I assign him to a unit. He goes in the battle. He gets he gets wounded. He still, when he gets better, he still doesn't have any experience. So so I so I don't know if anybody could mention that. Like I haven't really studied it in this game. If that if they, they made a mechanic that gives him some experience. Like, I don't know. Maybe he just has his default experience and he didn't gain anything like in the uh, ultimate um, general civil war. Like, because I know that's like, you know, I don't know if anybody could argue with me about it. I mean, I know Panda Kraut could, could tell us because he's pretty, he's, he, he's he's made mods to the game, so he he might tell us. But but I I know because I've tested it. I've had officers. Well, anyways, let's go over here. Anyways, and see this. But I, I ha I've had officers that uh, were like, okay, so like in in ultimate general civil war. I'll just talk about this briefly for a moment. In ultimate general civil war. When you don't have any more officers to buy because they're all gone from the shop and, and say you have some wounded ones, so you have no more officers, but you but you have enough guys where you can make, so, say you need three more units for the next battle. You can make three more units, but you're going to buy a generic officer, meaning an officer that has no stats, and he, or he's junky, whatever he has, but he has he has nothing, zero. So he's he's there. So you buy these rookie officers, three of them. Two of them get wounded in battle. And let's say one one got promoted or one got killed, whatever. But the two that are wounded, when they get better, they're still rookie officers. They they earned absolutely nothing. So they got zero of whatever, like they earn nothing. And so I don't know if that is the same case in this game. But um, anyways, I, and I don't even know why I'm telling you that. I guess it's because I looked at the officer and I saw that he's wounded and I thought of Ultimate uh, General where that officer gains absolutely nothing if he's wounded and 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 I'm thinking the same thing here, but I don't know for a fact. But anyways, let's get back onto this. So we got the three ships, so everything is the same pretty much from what I did. So let's go ahead and see how we are when we get back to the camp. Okay, and we know that I'm going to do a repair... So the Vengeance, because we were able to um, get that other ship, we might have had, we weren't able to get the 100% repair, so it's only 3 now. Vieira is only 30. Garlic is only 8. So that's a lot better. Because if you remember... I was below 8,000 when I had to do all those repairs. And we already know that we're going to sell this ship for 3, because we have 7, 3, and so now we have 10. And then I remember I played the game of, let's think which ship is more hurt, right? And, and and let's look at this again. 810, 340, 350. That's the Sherwood. <laughs> and look at 
<laughs> Look here. The Catherine. <laughs> Are we looking at the same thing? 350. Each of them are the same. Isn't that funny? Like, how can that be? Each of them are the same. 350. Is that a coincidence? I mean, seriously. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Hundred and sixty five. Okay, so by doing that, right, of doing this over, I'm I'm gonna say that I think I think the second way was better, right? So yeah, I think I think the second way was better. Hey, and, and on top of that, right? <laughs> and on top of that, we didn't get to, to sell any prisoners, but because they allowed me, they didn't end when that ship gave up, the cutter. They didn't end the battle right away, and I put it at half speed, so I was able to take a guy off the my ship the vengeance and send it over and capture and get an extra 30 guys which bumped them up to 117 so now I can at least get 432 bucks because uh, they're not going to give me any rep so I might as well just take the money and and yes I can I can reject it and keep holding them to get more of them but you pay maintenance on them. So I don't care that it's only going to give me 432 bucks. $432 is better than zero rep. And we don't have a cost of, of holding these guys here. And we still got that badge of military merit. And we still got our stuff here for doing the hero difficulty. So that's all the same. But now I think I'm in a better position because now I have 10,000 instead of 7,000. And I still got the 5 rep. And we're going to get rep with first contact, I think. And I know I would put the one point to get the 10 here. So that I already know I would do. And we can look at this here. And here is where we, we, we had the wounded officer. So overall, I think this guy has better stats than these. I mean, he's got a high 58 here. But he's very low here, and he's very low here. And he's very low here. So this officer is clearly... The, to me, the better choice. So we'll go ahead and do that. We want uh, all ships to have their officers. And then we're back to here. And so by buying the officer, I'm a little below the 10,000. But I mean, hey, look, you know. And we know we're going to need two officers... So we're going to spend that to do that. So now we're to the 8,000. But we bought, we bought 
like three officers. So I mean, there's a cost to everything that you do in this game. So you have to just kind of look at that. And you have to consider all those things. Now before I manipulate the ships again to get them back to where they were, we're going to take an opportunity to save Okay, so I'll just say after the second battle. Because the things that I already did, I know I would do. So that's why I can save it there. And then we already know what we did. Like I could end the video here, I guess, because it's a long video. Or I can just re-show again and see if I do the same thing or if I do whatever, you know what I mean? Now I remember the issue where we didn't have enough weapons. And I know when we go to the next chapter we're going to get a bunch of weapons and that will solve a problem. So we can consider that also, like, do I really need to do all the manipulation that I did? Or can I look at, um, we got these, right? So can I, can I do this and get, I have 170 of this. And then we know we're only going to want to go from we don't like I can I can drop to optimal. And then we just have a a little ways to go to get to here. Or can I go to here and know that I'm going to have to buy from here to here? It's, see, like I said, if I wanted to go from here to max, it's going to be a, an extreme amount of money to buy, you know, the, this, this XP. But just jumping from here to here won't be as much. And maybe it'll be better to go into the side missions with just optimal crews instead of max crews. So we got 110 right here. Okay, so I know I just saved, right? So what happens? What happens if I take Fenwick? She's only got one perk. These stats. Now what happens if I drop those out? Because we know we want to replace her and put her here. So, so suppose we drop them out. Take the officer out. And because perception was a hundred, now it's down to eighty seven. But I have a hundred and eighty guys there. And I know that that um Sherwood can take a hundred and eighty. So do I lose the second perk? by putting a one perk ship into the pool. So we're going to go to the Sherwood and find out. And we have 200 of these, it looks like. But, let me see. 
Yeah, we, we got 200 of these too. And we have 200 of these. All right, let's see about this one. 28 melee. 18 melee. Ah, yeah, we're going to get to keep it. All right, so we can put, we have 190, but we can put 180 in here. Now, the question I would ask is, can we also do this and put that there with these guns? And it'll get to 30. Okay, so we, we can do that. Now, that might take a lot, a lot of my money, though, but let, let's take a peek at that. So let's say I do give her the upgrade. And I do give her this. And she can go to she can go 12 knots. And I still have 5000, so that's not bad. I I I don't think that that's bad. And we know here we can take that off. We can take that out. We can rename this ship. We'll just name it Sails. We know we can go over here to Ships. And we'll get 4400 for this cutter. But if we wanted to buy the cutter back, um, it would cost 9000 So that's something to consider. Like, is it better to keep the ship if you want to make a fire ship out of that later on? But it'd be a, that would be a cheap fire ship. But it's just, it's just something to consider. I just like the idea of having, you know, back to be 10000 So, all right. So we did that, and so now, other than giving guns, like we still have the five rep, but we got her at 180 because we could do it, and she has two perks. So that would mean Well, my concept of doing, like, if I did this, it's going to cost me this amount of money to keep this, this, and let's say I do that now. Now we don't have much of anything left. And keep in mind, I, I didn't use this unit here from Rusty's uh, ship. So I can, I can keep this unit and let him help out in the battle, maybe. Like, I don't know how side missions actually work, but they're just automated battles. But I don't know if they would use Rusty's uh, military guy right here. Like maybe he'd jump out in a lifeboat and maybe he would go capture a ship. I don't know, maybe. Who knows what how the devs uh, have that transaction go down. But I mean, I guess anything that you can think of could happen, I guess. But anyways, okay, so. Now these guns we know we can buy an infinite amount. So we're gonna go over to um Vieira and see. So Vieira has 
28. So we can do that. Now, garlic, um, I don't know if there's anything here. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to just buy buy these junky guns, I think. Unless if unless Unless I just go in with the 94. You know what I mean? Oh, but then again, we have 111 of these now. All right, then let's do it this way then that gets us to optimal right optimal is 110 we can have one extra guy with a gun it's gonna cost a thousand dollars to keep the XP of these people which is fine I don't mind I, I got a little bit of money as well and as you can see I now have And Rusty has 20 here with two stars, and then inf a Milita with one star. So gun-wise, I think that's the best that I can do. I, I really do, and I don't think I need to do... We already put the point here. I think we're all... We can accept that that. And, and if I needed more money, I can sell these. Or you can keep them for a long time until you get sales and uh, buy-in up to 25% off and 25% discount. But again, I'm kind of like a player where if if I need it, if I need the money right now, I'm I'm gonna sp I'm gonna I'm gonna sell these. You know what I mean? But I don't need it right now. I got six thousand. I'm gonna lose. Three thousand three hundred and eighty-one dollars. That's all my maintenance. My funding is only thirteen fifty-nine. My crew is minus twenty-one forty-five, and my fleet is twenty-five ninety-five. If I kept the cutter, if I kept a trophy, it would be more charges. If I kept prisoners, it would be more charged. So why do that? So all right, menu. We're going to go to save again. Um, I saved, uh, what was the name of that? Oh, no, that was my option one. This is my option two. You know what? I don't think I have to. I don't think I have to do a save. I think uh, I'm just going to roll it. So we're going to roll it. So, okay. All right, we've got 92%. I think that's good enough. And we got 88%. We're going to go to the next stage. Now, we know we know about this already. We'll just run through it real quick. They gave us the 400. We already know that. Hey, this time this ship, <coughs> excuse me, sunk. And then this one gave us uh, 5,300 and we sunk. So yeah, so we, we sunk. We sunk the two ships this time around. They gave us 13,000. They gave us 500 of those guns. They tell us about this information and they also tell us about this information. So yeah, I think... I think second time around was much better. Like me doing it the way I did it for the second time. I now have 25,000 here. I have 11 rep. So. 
So yeah, I think that is better. Three, two, I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say second time better, okay? And that's, and that is where we go forward. So again, as a summary, each one of these battles, if we go to the map, each one of these battles, you need at least one to three ships. And here we can have an infantry unit if we want. And I, and I might, when I get to that, I might, I might make one. Um, and then here, here, and here. Now, I don't know if I'll have enough ships to do all those. But anyways. Okay, so, oh, oh, so, uh, so again, uh, with that knowledge, right? We know we're going to have to repair any ship that is hurt. So we already know that. So we'll do that. We still got 24,000. So we're definitely better off. And if you look here, you can see that they gave us 400 of these. Which, I mean, melee is only 18. I mean, but it's it's... It's a gun. I mean, I don't have to spend rep for it up to 494. This one's a little bit better on melee. And reloading is 42 and a half seconds. This one, 37. So this one loads faster. 7 to 1.1. 1 .1, 8 to 1.1. 1 .1. And this one's 26 melee, 41 seconds to reload, 8 damage to 1, you know, or, or that's called efficiency, but whatever. And the distance, you can see. So it's probably best to get around 100 to 150 yards to a person before you shoot them. It's not best to stand so far away and shoot because you can see how it drops way down. But anyways, okay, so all we really got to do right here is figure uh, what the three ships that I'm going to put in. Now again, like I said, I think that if I take myself out, if I go over to Fenwick, and I put myself there. I got a 39, a 44, a 57, a 36, a 46. Matter of fact, I beat him on every category. So that bumps up the stats. And this one, let's let's check this guy out, right? 30. 29, 29, 25, 26, 51, 32, 31, and 54. So he, he's, he goes in, bumps up the stats. Okay, so we'll, we'll do that. Okay. Hey, check this out, right? Check this out. Now, the first time I did this, at the beginning of this video, you could see that I, I used the 90 to, to put guys into the Fenwick 26-gun ship. Well, this time I didn't have to do that because I took guys out of here and I got the two perks 
I got the two perks for Fenwick doing it that way. But Rusty was in the battle like in the first time only Rusty's 20 guys was in the battle. Now the second time I do this you can see that the military got they got it looks like they got a perk. Let me let me see if I can actually give it to them. All right, let's take a look at these. Firearms, 10% accuracy, 10% reload duration. Okay, 10 plus 10. Okay, so I think it's... Okay, firearms is a 10% benefit. Accuracy is a 10%. But it looks like reload plus 10%. So that's adding to reload. And now here, accuracy is down 10%. So that's bad for accuracy. But minus 10 for reload is good for, for a reload. And plus 10 for firearms is good. So you, you're taking... So if you take any of these, you're taking a minus in, in something. You know what I mean? Like a negative. Two positives, one negative. But the reason I take melee is because we get 10 for morale, 10 for melee, 10 for stamina. We get, we get three. And I like to do melee anyway. So... Because if the if the if the enemy does melee to you, like you're forced into it anyway. So you know having this isn't a bad thing. And we get we're getting all three things as except here you get, you're gonna get something that's a negative, and I and I don't like that. So so this is the, I'm just giving you the reasoning why I go to melee for for many reasons. One of the reasons is I get I get all three things that apply and that's why you know I tend to lean that way that's that's all I'm saying so rusty we don't have to do much with at the moment we got this unit now we know we know Fenwick's is gonna be in the battle and we know this ship is not but I'm going to put the two officers here. And what I'm going to do is um, drop them down like that. And we have 110 here. Now that ship, you know, this ship does have two uh, perks. So both of these do. So if, if I accept that these guys are going to have the two perks and I'm going to leave them at a minimum crew, I can take these officers out. It'll disqualify this ship. I can even, I can even, take, I can even take the guns off. Now, if I go in with these three ships... I can put the better officers on this ship right here. Well, we're going to use these just for the heck of it anyways. I know it's not good on melee, but we're going to use that just because... Now it did raise their stats, but it wasn't enough to gain the perk, but it's probably real close.
Okay, now I think this ship only goes to 45. But now this ship can go to there. We still have a lot of these guns, so we're going to just use them for now. Okay, so by taking the guns off this ship, I was able to put those on this ship. So that would mean I have Vieira, Garlic, and Fenwick. And therefore, I have money and stuff. Could I, could I change out this gun? Okay, well, remember I was going to try this gun? But I can put I can put these here in this one. And I can put these right here. Yeah, because I, I like these better, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I still got 19,000, and I'm down to 5 rep. But what I'm mentioning is I tend to use these guns. So by me buying these and spending the rep and the money to have them, You can see right here that um, we still have 29 of them in the shop. Like if I wanted all those, but I don't have the money. I mean, I have the money, but I don't have the rep. But you can see that. You can see we've got 24 of these. But we used all that we could, and we have these that we can sell when we need money. But I don't need to do it right now anyways. So this ship is disqualified. And I can take the officer off Rusty, and that will disqualify these two ships. So that way, only, only these two ships will go into the next battle. Oh, of course, can I top off? Oh, no, she will be overloaded. Okay, so I won't be able to have 180. Because of putting these guns on here, I'll only be able to go to 173. Oh, which is fine. I mean, that's close to 180, right? I mean... And, and actually, that's three more than what this ship has and three more than what this ship has. So that is all that I think I would want to do. Like I'm not going to buy any tech at the moment. All right, so we're going to go like this. We're going to say normal American adaptation three, whoops, sorry, uh, three continue All right. 
I think I'm ready. I'm ready for the next battle. And I still have 18,000. I will lose 3285 and I will and I have 5 rep. So I think I'm going to call it a day, folks. This is a long video. I've done the battle twice. And, and you'll have to tell me what you think about doing the battle the way I did that battle. Where I did it again. I went all through all the moves and things that I would do. So you, so if you've seen some of this, you know, I know not everybody's going to watch the whole thing anyway. But I mean, if you see what I've done and you've seen me do it a couple of times... At least you'll see how I did it. And it's not and I'm not saying it's the best way to do it. I'm just saying this is the way I play the game. And I'm just a person. I'm a human being. I can make mistakes. I'm not a perfect. I'm not um professional. I'm not a professional YouTube person. I'm just showing this game as I've been doing for a year and a half. And that's all I'm doing. I'm just showing you how I get through it. It doesn't mean everyone can get through it that way. It doesn't mean everybody's going to do it that way. And that's why, but some people want me to talk about this stuff. So that's why I'm trying to talk more about this now as I play the game. I'm trying to be a little bit more informative, I guess. So, but you're going to have to tell me what you think of it. But anyways, no matter where you are in the world, I hope you're having a great day or a great afternoon or a good evening. Take care of yourself. Be kind to others. Spread love and joy to everybody. Get rid of hate. There's no place for hate. Only war comes from hate. So take care of yourselves. Be good. God bless you and your own religion. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios amigos and the lovely amigas.